and this video will go over the torch. So when you get your case, you'll have the torch, goggles, intraoral tip, half moon, cleaning cloth, manual, and you'll have the charger and the stand. First thing when you get this is we'll go ahead and make sure it's charged fully. So you see on the bottom is the connection piece. We just wanna make sure these are lined up. And then push it in fully, and then go ahead and plug it in. It'll take about two hours to charge fully. Once it's charged fully, you'll get about two hours of use. So when it's about fully charged, we'll go ahead and pop it out. Here's the on off. So it has three modes plus pulsing. So when I hit it one time, we have red only. When I press it again, we get red and near infrared. When I press it a third time, we'll get red, near infrared, and blue. If I want to pulse it, I'll simply hold the power button down for two seconds. If I want to turn the pulsing off, I hold it down for two seconds as well. It has an automatic timer, timer, so after six minutes, it'll beep and shut off. If you want to turn it off prior, prior to that, you just go through the modes and then one more, and that'll turn it off. So generally, you'll go ahead and just use this on its own. If, however, you want to uh, focus the light on a specific area, particularly intraoral, inside the mouth for any kind of dental issues, gum issues, uh, post-extraction, periodontal issues, root canals, any kind of gum surgery, sores in the mouth, or a sore throat, you can use this intraoral tip. So this will simply screw right on. Turn it on to the appropriate mode, and then you can go ahead and insert it into the mouth area. This can also be used for intranasal. So in the nose area, can be used for the ears, and basically for any tight spot that you need to get to. The other attachment is the half moon. With the half moon, we see a little dome shaped lens. The purpose of this is if I'm going to be pressing on the tissue, particularly say like a muscle or a knot or anywhere else where I want to blanch the tissue, that meaning push the blood out of the way, that will allow particularly the red light to penetrate deeper. So I can put it in here and just hold it down and move it. Or again, if I've got a tight muscle area, I can actually use it just to give a little bit of a massage. When you do that, you just wanna hold closer to the lens, not way back here. Okay, so hold it closer to here, and then you can give it just some slight, gentle motion. So what you can also do with the torch is do a little twist and that'll angle it to 90 degrees. The purpose of this is just so you can reach some of those harder spots. So say if you wanna reach back to the neck, or the lower back. It's a little bit easier to hold it in this direction than in this direction. So whatever is gonna be easier for you. So the torch has a good amount of power. So we really don't need to be using a whole lot of time with this. So if I'm dealing with any kind of superficial skin type issues, I'm gonna be wanting to do mode three, and that's with the blue. The blue is great for any kind of skin issues, acne, psoriasis, eczema, if you have any cuts or scrapes, particularly if there may be some infection involved, blue is really good for that. So we only need about 30 seconds per area and then we can move it. Another 30 seconds and so on. Blue is also really effective for people dealing with depression, seasonal affective disorder. Now, what we're gonna do in that case is we're just gonna close the eyes. We're gonna have it at a distance and we're just gonna move it back and forth over the eyes for about five minutes. That's all you need. Now, if it's overly bright and sensitive, then you're gonna to wanna to wear the goggles. Otherwise, just keep your eyes closed. I generally prefer the pulsing whenever possible. I think it does a little bit better job of healing. So keep the pulse going, and then you can go ahead and be on the skin area. Now, if you've got deeper issues, where you have inflammation, muscles, joints, uh, lymphatics, then we're generally gonna be on mode two, which is the red and the near infrared. We can pulse it, 
And then we can go ahead and place it here, put a little bit of pressure to blanch that blood to allow that red light to get deeper penetration. And then I need about three minutes per area. So I can either hold it in place for three minutes and then move for three minutes and then continue that process. Or I can cover a bigger area and move it around and just add the appropriate time. So if I'm doing an area that would typically involve uh, moving it three or four times, then I'm wanna, gonna wanna add that time. So if I'm gonna do this section here, I'm doing three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. I'm gonna be doing 12 minutes total if I'm moving it around. If I'd rather pull it away a little bit, now as I pull it away, I lose power. So I have to make up with that with a uh, greater time. So if I'm inch away per spot, I'm gonna add about 25% more time. So instead of three minutes here, I'll do it for four minutes. So four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. Now, because once the light hits the skin, it spreads out quite a bit, about twice the size, I don't have to just be right beside it. So I can do here and then skip and do over here, and then skip and do over here. Now again, after six minutes, it'll turn, turn off automatically, and then you can go ahead and hit the on button again. Now, if it's feeling a little bit warm, give it a minute to rest, and then you can go ahead and start it up again. So if you've got the flashing on, if it causes you any dizziness or vertigo, or if you have a history of photo-induced type seizures, then I would highly recommend that you don't do the pulsing at all. So when you get done using it, you'll notice this will show the power, the four little lights, but it's easiest just to go ahead and place it onto the stand and charge it. You don't have to wait for it to go completely empty before charging. And that way, if it's always with the stand, you know where it's gonna be. And I just like to put this someplace uh, accessible. So whether it's beside your couch, or beside your bed so you'll see it and you know where to grab it and that way you don't lose the cord.